Please welcome Matthew Perry. Bringing the love, bringing the love, nice. Uh. You know, you know, you've really made it in show business when they say we're going to bring out Matthew Perry, but first let's light a dog on fire. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. A whole new level that. of show business yeah. for you. Yeah, but the dog is okay. He's okay. Okay, good. Because I understand, well, I'm going to get that you are a pet guy, right? You have... Yeah, my mother uh, for uh, Christmas last year got me this great cat named Sammy. And actually, oh. uh, when this is on, it's going to be my mother's birthday, so happy birthday, Mom. Oh, okay. Um, and she, you didn't care about that at all. <laughs> but there's a cute card here that says, oh, great. <laughs> I have to simulate human emotion. I see. I'm like, in real life, I'm like Spock. Yeah. yeah. It's really not her birthday either. <laughs> so don't worry about it. You did that for yeah. legal reasons. I did that because yeah. the cue cards. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, she got me uh, this great, beautiful Persian white cat with all the hair and everything. And, mm -hmm. But you have to brush them constantly, or they get all matted up, you know. So it's just this matted up cat. And <laughs> took what, her... they collect, like, garbage? From oh, there's just things like, you know, tin cans on her and stuff <laughs> like that. It's not right. So I sent her to the groomer, and she came back fully shaved. And it was like that cat from Austin Powers. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and uh, she's not the smartest cat anyway, so she couldn't really understand. Like, she's terrified of her own reflection. And here's another thing about cats that I want to know, and maybe you, can, uh, you guys can help me out about this, but why do cats, if they're in the living room, go all of a sudden, I gotta be in the bedroom? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> they hear things we can't hear. People don't do that. <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> no, not, not, not anymore. Not anymore? You you got a lot of help. A lot of help. You know what's funny is I don't, uh, I, I've run into you a few times at NBC events, but yeah. mainly the way I keep up on your life is from the tabloids. Because you're, un fortunately or unfortunately, you're one of those guys that they just write about no matter what you do, they write about you all the time. That's got to be yeah. a very strange thing. It, it is a strange thing, and then you just kind of learn not to read them. It's kind of like the bit that you did, like uh, buried in the back right, pages. Right. I mean, this actually happened to me where, uh, where one of these, you know, dumb tabloids said on page four that I was marrying somebody that I had not met ever, you mm -hmm. know. And on the, in the exact same issue on page six, it said I was gay. <laughs> Seriously? So, yeah, seriously. So at that point, you just go, you know what? I'm not going to read these anymore. And you know, do they match up? Would they hook you up with a guy when you're getting married? I mean, do they at least have an internal logic or no? They, no, there was no logic at all. Yeah. There was like, uh, you know, obviously the editor made some mistake. You know? <laughs> right, right. I'm marrying some girl I've never met, and I'm gay. Right. Yeah. Right. And they're just going to take that quote out of context. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, you realize that right now, it's going to be the, the star or something is going to write Matt Perry to Conan. I'm marrying someone I never met, and I'm gay. Help me. <laughs> Get me out of this mess. So, yeah, yeah, it's basically my fault, isn't it? It is your yeah, fault. That these yeah. things are happening. Yeah. Uh, now, I understand that this is kind of interesting. You, this movie's coming out, The Whole Nine Yards. Yeah. You and Bruce Willis, big yeah. movie. And that you wanted to check out the crowd response. So I'm, I'm told that you went to just like a regular... They had like one of those special preview screens with a normal audience? Yeah, they had a little sneak preview thing on uh, Saturday night, and I was wondering, you know, because it's a comedy, you know, and I was wondering, uh, you know, if people were going to show up and if people were going to laugh and all that stuff. And so I kind of put a baseball cap on and I snuck in. And, and it was a little bit embarrassing because at one point I did something on screen and I was the only one laughing the whole, <laughs> the whole time. Seriously? Yeah. You, yeah, I was like, oh, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> And, and, you, and your hat said, I'm Matthew Perry, yeah. and had an arrow yeah. going down. And I was playing the Friends theme song on a little <laughs> tape recorder. <laughs> that was, did people, like, did people, did anyone see you? Because I think that would be, like, kind of, that would be a weird moment if you heard one person laughing in the theater yeah, and it was, was you. Yeah, just laughing Matthew, at yourself. Matthew Perry has no life. Just <laughs> on, on a Saturday night, just going and cracking up at himself. Yeah. Another item for the tabloids. There you, you go. <laughs> I, was uh, th I was there with my gay girlfriend. <laughs> It doesn't quite work. Well, you got to work on it. We'll figure it out. I'll come back next time. Uh, you are. Uh, you do this movie with Bruce Willis. Yeah. He's a guy I, I've, I've never met. What's it? 
What's it like to, to, do you hang out with this guy or did you just work with him? Well, I actually do hang out with him. He's a really, he's a really good guy. And it was neat, actually, because he hasn't done a comedy basically since Moonlighting. So he was having a lot of fun. And the thing about Bruce is, uh, Bruce, is... I uh, call him B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, th the thing about B <laughs> is, um, is that he literally is the persona that you would think he is. He's like the coolest guy on the face of the planet. And you mm -hmm. can walk up to him honestly and just go, your house is on fire. And he'd be like, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, don't worry about it. Armag Armageddon made $600 million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, very, I'm, I'm very famous. Uh -huh. <laughs> A famous guy that says, I'm very famous. Oh, yeah, I like all the time. How are you? Very famous. Yes. Yeah, How are you? <laughs> But he does, he has that persona about him, you know, but he's mm -hmm. a really great guy and it was fun to actually, to just watch him having fun, coming up with funny stuff on the set because he was, he hasn't done it in a long time. You right. Know? He spent the last couple of years going like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, you know. Uh, so this is a nice change of pace for the man. Yeah, he had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun together and it was a nice working atmosphere and Jonathan Lynn, the director, he directed mm -hmm. My Cousin Vinny and uh, some other, some other movies. We just kind of had a really open atmosphere on the set. So you could have fun, yeah. enjoy. Yeah. Now, speaking of having fun, I know uh, uh, that you guys, you have a good time doing Friends. It's the Friendship Show. The, the Friendship th Show. Yeah. Uh, is, this, is this a show that's going to continue? You always hear these rumors that m whenever a show is successful for a long time, people think, okay, are they going to break up soon? I'm the only one that's coming back. <laughs> Uh, we Which will slightly alter the show. Yeah, it's yeah. well, they have to call it friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's you and you like yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice show. Yeah. Just me all by myself dancing around in a fountain. <laughs> That could look very, very yeah. sad. Yeah. 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 Squash those rumors. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he couldn't possibly be gay. All right. Now. Uh, well, the movie's The Whole Nine Yards. It opens this Friday. It opens this Friday, February 18th. Yeah. All right. Well, Very excited about it. Best of luck with that. And uh, Matthew, thanks so much for coming by. Always Great a pleasure. Great having you. Always here. a pleasure. Matthew Perry.